Ubuntu made on Raspberry Pi is an interesting distribution, quick setup, no black screen, super fast network, unbelievable performances. No, just kidding, it's probably not the perfect system you are looking for, but it's not the worst either. Ubuntu Mate is based on the latest Ubuntu version, and use the Mate desktop environment. It also comes with interesting tools and features, I will show you everything in this video. Mate is inspired from GNOME 2, so as on Raspberry Pi OS, you'll find the main menu in the top left corner. All the apps are sorted by category, and you also have a search engine to quickly find something. Ubuntu Mate comes with the essential apps you need, like Firefox, LibreOffice, Media Players, etc. Strangely, it's not VLC by default, but Celluloid can play video files. Or you can just install VLC in a few clicks, I'll show you how just after. There are also a bunch of accessories and system tools. Some of them are really interesting, or at least it's a good thing to have them by default. For example, there is the Disk Usage Analyzer to quickly analyze your SD card usage. The Software Boutique is really good too. On smartphones and computer, it's now a common feature to have some kind of app store. But on Raspberry Pi, there are not a lot of distributions that have something working properly. It's the case with Ubuntu Mate. You can quickly find new apps to install, either by browsing the categories or using the search engine. Once you find an app to install, you can add it to your system in one click. That's really great and something missing on Raspberry Pi OS. The apps are almost the same, but finding them with the Add Remove software tool on Raspberry Pi OS is almost impossible if you don't know the app name. A backup tool is also installed by default. You can create a backup task easily in a few clicks. I highly recommend using it if you keep Ubuntu made as your desktop computer. To learn more about backups on Raspberry Pi, Check the link in the description. I explain everything, from why to use them, how to do it effectively, and the most important, how to make sure they are working. In the main menu, you'll find the control center. It's the tool you need to configure everything on your system. It'll open a page with a link to all the configuration tools, network, keyboard layout, appearance, etc. By the way, my network was not working on the first boot, Ethernet connected but not detected. I had to connect to my Wi-Fi to do the updates and sync the clock. Then, after a few reboots it was connected via the Ethernet connection, so I don't know if it's a problem on my side or whatever, but if you experience the same issue, don't worry too much, it will probably work after doing the updates. To update your system, open the software updated in the control center. But you'll probably get a notification asking you to update as soon as you are connected to the Internet. Ubuntu Mate isn't the most beautiful interface by default. Check the video link to see other options. But Mate can be tweaked easily. Go to Appearance in the Control Center. There you can pick another theme, change your background, icons, etc. Yes, with a dark theme, it's already slightly better. Except from that, Ubuntu Mate is nice to use. In the top right corner, you have the notification zones with a few configuration options, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, sound. Dual screen usage is supported on Raspberry Pi 4, which is not the case with every distribution. Performances are okay, not exceptional as it's based on Ubuntu, which tends to be pretty slow on Raspberry Pi. The system is 64 bits, but it's not always reactive when you open an app. Probably not the most optimized system for Raspberry Pi. Anyway, Firefox was working correctly, which is surprising to me. I tend to prefer Chromium for performances, but even with high-quality videos on YouTube, I didn't notice any major issue. So, good point for this. Interested to try it now? Here is how to install it on your Raspberry Pi. You won't find it in Raspberry Pi Imager, so head over to the Ubuntu Mate website.
find the Raspberry Pi section and download the image for your Raspberry Pi model. You have the choice between ARM64 or ARM HF, and then between the latest release or the long-term support version. Once downloaded, use your favorite tool to flash it to a SD card. I'm using Etcher for this, but any tool is fine. By the way, I'm flashing it on a USB drive. I'm doing this more and more, I may do a video about this someday, but for now just pick the image and flash it. The first boot is pretty disappointing. I got a black screen for a few minutes, then a loading icon, and finally the standard Ubuntu wizard to set up your system. You'll need to configure a few options first, like the default language, keyboard layout and time zone. Then you'll create the first user. By the way, there is a bug here. It's not just that I'm unable to type the same password twice. It seems that if you use the tabulation key to switch to the next field, it's recorded in your password. No problem when using the mouse. Anyway, once done, you'll need to wait for a long time for the system to be completely installed, something like 15 to 20 minutes I think. I don't understand why Ubuntu still has this boring setup, while most other distributions are installed directly on first boot. But you have to be patient there. You'll finally get access to the interface after a last reboot. Remember, I got a network issue at the beginning, that has been fixed after completing the updates in Wi-Fi and rebooting a few times. Let me know if you have the same issue, maybe it was just a temporary issue with my network. From there, enjoy your new system, and feel free to check the article linked in the description to get more details about it.